Welcome everybody to the Star Fox 64 playthrough. This is the Epic Fudge, and if you're watching this at the time of its release, then I'm sorry for it taking so long to be released. It kind of took me a while to get this episode out. I mean, well, I'll go over that in a minute. Let me just uh, get out of this new tile screen. Now, this is going to be a bit different this time, because while last time I've gone through the entirety of the main game, I need to go through the expert mode, which is unlocked by going through the main game and getting all the medals. That gives you expert mode, and it also gives you expert sound, which is basically a sound test. You know, if you're into that sort of thing. So yeah, I'll get the text guys to go over everything that's going to be uh, new about this. So, uh, yeah. Let's get this show on the road. Corneria, fourth planet of the Lilat system. The evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet Venom. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McLeod, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, and James and Peppy were captured by Andros. Peppy barely escaped Venom and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. A few years have passed. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team headed by Fox McCloud to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that is basically what this playthrough is going to be. Just a simple short run of the game. So, on that note, let's get this started. Again. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. Still find it weird how uh, General Pepper is pinning the entire hopes of this planet and the Lilac system on four animals. You know, even though he's got an entire army. And this isn't exactly a very competent Open team. I mean, only Fox seems to uh, be able to do anything. So, yeah, that's weird. Check your G-Diffuser system. Falco here. I'm fine. This is Peppy. All systems go. Flipping here. I'm okay. I see him up ahead. Let's rock and roll. Okay. So, on that note, I think I might as well go over the expert mode with you guys. Um, okay, expert mode is, well, pretty much what it says on the tin. It's the same game, only it's harder. How is it harder? Well, basically, uh... Flippy, get back here. Well, first off, there are more enemies. You will find enemies that aren't in the formations Flippy, that you will out. recognize in the, in the main game. Like, uh, I'll get an example in a second. See, these enemies that I'm blowing up now, they weren't there in the main game. So, uh, yeah, that's something. The expert mode isn't simply just more enemies. It's, this one's harder because, uh, items. Items are a lot more spread out than what they usually are. I mean, uh, you can usually find gold rings in some places in the main game. But in the expert mode, you tend to find, like, less gold rings. Or you'll find a silver ring or something. Basically, the power-ups are either less useful or non-existent. Like, where they used to be. The spawn points still work, so that's helpful. But one of the main gimmicks with the, uh... The expert mode is something that I'll go over with you, uh, When I get the chance to show you an example. Use the break! 
But other than that, it is mostly just the same game that we've just been playing. So I'm just going to be trying to blow through this and try and get myself a new record. Hopefully it is. That's the reason why it's taken me so long. I mean, this is like, I don't know, my tenth attempt of trying to do this. Or it was. This is still both commentary, so... It was my tenth attempt. Of course. Still a lazy bastard not trying to check the G diffuser. Now I could use the charge shot here, but I guess I should be I tend to miss with the charge shot, so I use bombs anyway. Not that it matters, there's another bomb right there. Do a barrel roll. See now there's more enemies in this barrel roll section, so you have to uh, plan your shots differently if you still want high scores. Because of there's usually more enemies than what there are in the main game, it's usually a bit easier to get medals this time. You know, seeing as there's more opportunities to shoot things and you know what you're doing. But there will be some cases where it'll be harder because of uh, just ha Well, there are some missions that are so hard where you're focused, you're actually trying to focus on surviving. Pretty smooth flying, Fox. Oh, god damn it. Right. Okay, so... This is the main reason why expert mode is the expert mode. In the main game, in the main game, your wings can take three hits of damage, and once they take three hits, that's when the wings clip off. Here in expert mode, your wings only need to take one hit, and they tend to be damaged more than anything else if you crash into something. So really, if you crash into anything, chances are you're going to lose a wing. And as a result, you're going to lose lasers. And that's when the overpoweredness of the hyper lasers becomes all the more apparent. Oh, get in, I got them all. Laser! Because you will spend a lot more time with uh, without the hyper lasers because you'll constantly be crashing into things. As a result, if I end up doing like uh, that flip and crashing into this Incoming thing like I did the the last time, then uh, I might just end up crashing into it and lose my wing. And that would be a pain because then it'd uh, be hard to control and I'd lose a laser. And that's the main reason why expert mode is so hard, because half the time you're flying around with either no wings or... What the Christ?! Did Slippy seriously just crash into me just then? Oh, Christ. So yeah, you've got a chance of either losing a wing, or you'll probably end up flying around with less powerful lasers than what you Aim should be. Because you'll be spending most of the main game with the hyper lasers, because it's not likely that you'll lose a wing. But in the expert mode, you tend to lose your wings a lot. So it's very hard to keep your scores high when you've uh, got limited power. As for why I'm trying to defeat this boss in first person, I don't know. I just thought to try it. And as a result, that's probably why Slippy ended up crashing into me. Stupid fucking idiot. Yeah, the boss's strategies haven't really changed any. It's really just the fact that you can take less hits on your wings. And the fact that there's more enemies in the middle of the level. So yeah, that is pretty much how the expert mode of this game works, and we'll be seeing more of this throughout the rest of it. Yeah, Slippy actually took one of my wings off, you stupid idiot. We're heading out. All aircraft report. Woo. I guess. You did it! I was worried for a moment. Yeah, you weren't worrying much when you crashed into me. You're becoming more like your father. Yeah, I mean I'm even wearing his sunglasses now. I'm fine. You okay over there, Fox? I would be if it weren't for Slippy. Oh. That's a good sign for the high score, Roots. 222 points in Corn Area. So yeah. I'll see you guys on the next part of the expert run of Star Fox 16.